you are welcome to this class thank you for joining us here we want to solve this equation find the value of x in x raised to power 3 minus x squared equals to 4 now from here let's take this 4 to this side and we have x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 then minus 4 b equals to 0 then by inspection we can check for a number that will be a solution here that will be a root of this cubic equation so we can expect x equals to 1 with x equals to 1 be a root of this cubic equation now when we substitute 1 that will be 1 raised to power 3 is t1 then minus 1 squared is t1 then minus 4 so 1 minus 1 you know 0 minus 4 that is minus 4 which is not equals to 0 so it means that x equals to 1 is not a solution now let's take x equals to 2 to check whether x equals to 2 is a root now 2 raised to power 3 that's 8 then 2 minus 2 raised to power 2 that's 4 then minus 4 we have 8 minus 4 that's 4 4 minus 4 0 so this one equals to 0 yeah it means that s equals to 2 here will be you know a root so s equals to 2 is a root of that polynomial which is a cubic equation there then we can get the other you know roots when we use x equals to 2 to divide when we use 2 to divide let's use synthetic division here from synthetic division we can divide this polynomial by 2 and then using 2 to divide so we take the coefficient of s cube here the coefficient of s cube is 1 the coefficient of s square is minus 1 and uh, x here there is no x so the coefficient there is 0 and the constant we have minus 4 so now from here using synthetic division we drop this one here so when we drop this one then 2 we multiply the one so 2 times 1 that's 2 we write it here then we add this to minus 1 plus 2 same thing as 2 minus 1 that's 1 so we multiply by 2 again 2 times 1 that will give us 2 so we add again 0 plus 2 that's 2 so we multiply again 2 times 2 that will give us 4 so we add it again minus 4 plus 4 that's 0 then it shows that 2 is a root of that you know polynomial because this has given us 0 here so it established that 2 is a root Therefore, x minus 2 will be a factor. When we take, you know, 2 to this side. So, therefore, the other factors will be a quadratic, you know, factor now. Whereby, this one is the coefficient of x squared. So, the coefficient of x squared is 1. So, we have x squared. Then, the coefficient of x is also 1. That's plus x. Then, the constant is 2, which is plus 2. Then we equate it to 0. So from here, we've already gotten that x minus 2 is equal to 0. So these are the two cases. x minus 2 equals to 0. And then also, x squared plus x plus 2 is equal to 0. From here, we have gotten that x equals to 2 already. Then let's get the value of x from here. When we Compare this one with quadratic equation a equals to 1 so b equals to 1 and c is equals to 2 so using that quadratic formula that x equals to minus b that's minus b that's minus 1 plus or minus square root of b square that's 1 square minus 4 a then c and over 2a that's 2 times 1 then when we simplify this now we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is 1 then 4 times 
2 that's minus 8 there then over 2 so this gives us x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 7 over 2 and uh, we can separate that square root of 7 times minus square root of 1 and square root of 1 is i so that we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 7 i over 2 so we have two solutions here as well the one is plus and the other is minus so if we call this one the solution one and uh, the two x two will be equal to minus one plus root seven i over two and the third value of x will be equal to minus one plus sorry minus the first one is plus then minus root seven i over two so these two roots are complex and uh, why this one the first one is real and therefore we have come to the end of this class we say thank you for watching also don't forget to subscribe to this channel turn the notification bell on for more videos see you in the next class and bye for now